Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see how to improve the efficiency of a priori algorithm and what are the different techniques we can follow to improve the efficiency. Improving the efficiency of a priori algorithm. First technique is hash based technique. Hashing the item set into the corresponding buckets. A hash based technique can be used to reduce the size of a candidate item set for k is greater than 1. Now see this diagram. In this diagram we can see there is one hash table formation and this hash table we have some bucket address as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and they have given the bucket count as a 2, 2, 4, 2, 1, 4. So and the bucket content also given. Now we checking that the hash table has h2 for the candidate 2 item set. This hash table was generated by the scanning the transaction of a table. While determining the L1, if the minimum support count is say 3, then item set in the bucket that is a 0, 1, then 3 and 4, R will get cannot be frequent because those are lesser than 3, so they should be removed from the C2. For example, when scanning each of the transaction in the database to generate the frequent item set L1, we can generate all of the two item set for each transaction. Hash them into the different buckets of a hash table structure and increase the corresponding bucket count. The second technique is transaction reduction. Reducing the number of transactions can in the future iteration. A transaction that does not contain any frequent item set cannot contain the frequency of an item. Therefore, such a transaction can be marked or removed from further consideration because the subsequent scan of a database for a jth item set where j is greater than k will not need to consider such transaction. The third technique is a partition technique. In the partitioning, Technique can be used that requires just two database scan to mine the frequent item set. Now see this diagram. In this diagram, we have two phases. First phase will include the first three blocks and phase two will include the second two blocks. In the first two blocks, first we are checking the transaction considered D. Now we are dividing this D into the number of partitions N. After dividing that partition, we are giving that item partition to the frequent item set to the local each partitioning. After done with the local partitioning, we are sending that frequent item set to form the candidate item set. After getting the candidate item set, we are sending that data to the phase two. In the phase two, we actually find the global frequent item set. After getting the global frequent item set, we get a final frequent item set which are present in the D. The fourth technique is a sampling technique. Mining on a subset of the given data. The basic idea of the sampling approach is to pick a random sample of the given data D and then search for the frequent item set S instead of D. In this way, we trade off some degree of accuracy against the efficiency. The sample size of S is such that the search for a frequency item in a S can be done in a main memory and so only one scan of a transaction in a S is overall required. The fifth technique is a dynamic item set counting. In a dynamic item set counting, technique was proposed in which the database is partitioned into the block marked by the starting point. In this variation, new candidate item set can be added at any start point, unlike in a priori, which determines the new candidate item set only immediately before each complete database can scan. So in this video, we have seen the five basic techniques through which we can improve the efficiency of a algorithm. And we can overcome the limitations of a priori using these techniques. Thank you.